Hello, Internet world. I wanted to do an update on my Hummingbird feeder, 3D printed Hummingbird feeder. If you guys haven't seen the last video, or the only video, I wanted to design a 3D printable Hummingbird feeder to have lots of Hummingbird feeders so that the birds don't guard the feeders and I can get lots of Hummingbirds and it doesn't cost me a bazillion dollars. So last year, this is what I came up with. It used a water bottle and a 3D printed base and it worked reasonably well. The issues with this were that the bottle was a little too flimsy. It's a little small of a neck on the bottle, a little hard to fill. Um, the whole thing was a little flimsy and I had actually printed some hangers but I didn't have the, I, I lost the files for them. So some people online said that they were interested in the hangers so I redid that and, and some other things. So this is the new design. Uh, so like I said, it's sturdier, has a larger, larger, it uses more plastic, it has larger uh, arms on the cage. Um, the body is printed a little bit differently, so it actually has less internal structure, it's a little simpler to print. Um, the bottle obviously is different, so we switched to a more sturdy Gatorade bottle, and that still threads right into the print like that. We'll put a link up to the old video in case you guys want to check that one out, but this is the new, new, newer, better one. So the, some of the things that I had to um, work on were to keep bees out of it. Um, we, I have beehives here and the bees would get into places that you didn't think that they could get into. And through capillary action, the, the liquid would, would run up and they'd swarm the, the feeder and they'd empty it in a day. So I've got some features in here. There's a lip in here to keep the bees from being able to get down to where the threads are. Uh, the flowers have a wide base so they can't get to the bottom of the flower. And bees are still, I still get a bee, or a bee every now and then kind of on the body, but they don't, they can't empty the feeder. If, if, if they have a good source of, of feed, then they'll, they'll empty an entire hummingbird feeder in, uh, in a day. So, and they don't do that with this. So, so I'm really happy with that. Also, uh, people were saying that, that an, ant, an ant trap or an ant moat would be a good feature. So I developed one of those. So this is another print in place, no supports, ant moat. This one's been used, so it's a little gungy. But it hooks right onto the hanger. And then the feeder. hooks right into the bottom of it. So I, I came up with this in the spring and I've been using them all season. I don't know if any hummers will come over here. It's a little close for them, but we've got, I've had good luck with the hummers. Um, usually have a couple feeding from different feeders at the same time. So we're getting to the point where we have lots of them. I still need to get more feeders out, I think, to have them really get, massive quantities of them. Um, the print, for anybody that's interested, will be, I'm gonna put the designs up for sale. Um, I use PETG, it's basically the same material as the, as the water bottles. Um, some of the some of this more specific technical issues with the prints is, uh, you need to print them kinda hot so that it has a nice watertight seal. Um, but hot printing is not conducive to smaller pieces like the cage up here. Um, so I found that 245 degrees is about, 245 C is about the right temperature to get a nice solid base and not to get too much stringing and dripping and stuff on, on, on the cage part. Also turn Z-Hop off. Uh, I was having trouble with it and I uh, researched a couple videos and saw where they were um, printing some a, a lattice structure kind of like this and the the z-hop would prevent it from doing basically an extra wipe across the print and would get a lot more of the of the, the drips and globs um, I've been printing these with an 8 millimeter nozzle I've used a 4.4 millimeter nozzle and a 0.8 millimeter nozzle I use the bigger one because it's a lot faster 0.4 millimeter nozzle takes about 12 hours to print just this just this part um, and a 0.8 millimeter, I can print them in about four hours. 
so it prints wider and I can print it point, uh, at 0.4 millimeter layer height. So it's twice the layer height of what a 0.4 millimeter nozzle can do. Um, if overhangs are a problem with whatever uh, nozzle you're using, you can lower the layer height and then it doesn't have to go over, the nozzle doesn't have to hang over as far to print that next layer. So that's a, a handy tip. Let's see. Oh, uh, so another important thing is to have nice dry filament. So I'm going to show you guys my handy dandy filament drying setup. So this is just a five gallon bucket that I drilled some holes in. And this is the top to a food dehydrator. And it just sets on top and blows hot air down through here and I put my filament in here. These are the actual filaments I use on here. So this is Overture Red PETG and 3D Solutech printer filament. Both of these on Amazon. And the black, I don't remember what the black is. But I can put some, some links on there if you guys are interested in the actual kinds of filament that I used. I like this fluorescent because it really makes the flowers pop. And that's a nice red. I've had some other reds that are kind of dull. But these seem to print well and they're not super expensive. Uh, another good feature is that since these are reusable Gatorade bottles, um, when I make um, nectar, uh, nectar is one part sugar to three to four parts water. So I just make it mix up a jug and then I can fill these. I can fill extra ones of these up. I usually only fill them about half full because I like to change them often enough that uh, they don't get nasty um, and the birds don't drink a full one. So I only usually fill them about halfway full. But I can, I can make extra and leave either this capped in the fridge because there's caps or sometimes I fill up a bigger water bottle and just leave it in the fridge so I can transfer easy. So that's a nice feature about this. The, the interchangeable bottles means you can have as many as you want. So you don't, if you have a, a commercial hummingbird feeder and the bottle gets broken or lost, then you're kind of SOL. So, so like I said, I'm gonna put these files up for sale. Uh, the reason I do this is because it's, it's, a, it's kind of a, I've put a lot of work into it. It's a verified design. It's not some piece of garbage that you get for free. Um, I don't put videos out often enough to get any kind of sponsorships or you know uh, get the algorithm to bump my videos up and get thousands and thousands of views um, so uh, getting a little bit back for these I think is fair it's besides the fact that you know you pay half the price of what uh, a, a commercial feeder would be and you have as many hummingbird feeders as you want um, I'm going to anybody that bought my last one I'm gonna send them all the all the files for free um, and the files this time, instead of just being the feeder and the flowers, is going to be the feeder, flowers, the hanger, the ant moat, and, the ha and this hanger. So there's quite a bit more to it. So that's the update. Thanks for watching. If anybody's interested, uh, the links will be in the comments. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.